Watch your tubbers. Uh, welcome to my next edition of Truckers Roll Call, which is uh, are we on Wednesday, the 27th of July. Yeah, that's right. And I've been away for the past 12 days, and it, you've all been passing your bleeding test, haven't you? So I've got a book for. Um, and there's a couple in here that I forgot to add last roll call because I missed you out and for that I'm really sorry so but you know, you've made it into this one right let's kick it off we've got Harvey Dean now Harvey Dean uh, passed back in May uh, I haven't spoke to him um, he suggested why don't I go work on the containers he works on the containers on class one um, I think I said to him, I said, I've, I've, I've watched too many Russian uh, YouTube videos <laughs> when it goes wrong. Uh, plus the fact, it, it, I know it, there's a lot of waiting around with container uh, haulage, so I'm, I'm not so keen on that. But yeah, he said he, he, he enjoys it. But uh, yeah, so Harvey Dean, congratulations mate, you passed him in May, which seems like an absolute age ago now. But uh, you, I think you're fairly new to the channel, or at least it's the first time I've been in contact with you. So congratulations. Um, next up, now you'll have to forgive me if I don't pronounce your name right, mate. But uh, it's Haeckel uh, Ibrahim. I think I've got Ibrahim right, but I'm not sure how you pronounce your, your Haeckel. H-A-Y-C-K-A-L. Um, Cool. Yeah, uh, congratulations buddy, you've just passed your class 2 with 4 minors, which is really good. Uh, that, that's good going that is, just to pick up 4 minors, I mean, minors can be tiny little things like, I don't know, road positioning, some, something, you know, nothing major. So, um, yeah, to, to, to get round on your first attempt with just four minors that's re that's really good so you must be chuffed to bits mate um let me know what your next step is what what you're going to do with your license uh, whether you're going to go on to class one or whether you're going to um get a bit of experience on class two or whether you stay at class two uh, let us know what what type of work you want and whether you know you found it easy getting into work or not so yeah congratulations buddy Next up, we've got Lizard. Uh, now, Lizard, you passed your class two recently, whilst I was away on holiday, and you're thinking about doing your class one. Well, you know my thoughts on um, whether you should or shouldn't get experience, but there is no right and wrong way. It's whatever suits you, mate. But um, yeah, if you're in that frame of mind and you feel you're ready and you're up for it, then go for it. Because you have to go through the learning curve, whether it's on class two or class one. There's a, there's a learning curve. And when you'll rock up, you won't know how to undo the curtains, you won't know how to strap down properly, you won't know just the flow of things. Um, so, I mean, you get that working with a van. You know, all in a couple of pallets a piece around. You know, you just just little things that you pick up as you go along. So there's always a steep learning curve to begin with. But uh, yeah, so if you think you you want to go for class one, just crack on, mate. Best of luck to you. So congratulations, Lizard, on passing your class two. You didn't say how you managed, you know, how you fared or whether you did it the first time or whatever. But yeah, you're set. Uh, next up, we've got James G in the UK. Now I'm going to start with a big, fat. Sorry, mate. I really am genuinely sorry that I missed you out. Cause no doubt, I'm thinking. I'm taking myself out of my boots now, putting myself into into uh, subscribers' boots. And you let me know your good news, yada yada yada, and I go, oh great, yeah, share it with you, share it with your moment. 
and I'll say, yeah, I'll, I'll put you in the next roll call. Then you tune in for the next roll call. You're not there. <laughs> Your bottom lip would drop. Mine would, anyway. So I'm genuinely, genuinely sorry I missed you out, mate. But all I can tell you is it, it, it happens. Sometimes I pick it up on my phone and it'll come through. And I think, right, I'll write that down in my book. And then I'll go back to find it and the message is gone. And depending on where you left that message, I mean, you left your message in the right place. Don't get me wrong. But some people don't. Um, yeah, so it takes some finding again. And it will happen, I'll miss people, but I am genuinely sorry. So, a big fat thumbs up, buddy. You've got your class too. Uh, let me know how, how you're getting on. Um, who we got up next? Richo. Now, Richo, uh, he's just got past his class two. But again, like um, Lizard, he wants to crack on and do his class one. So, uh, I can't remember if you spoke to me. Did you say where you wanted to do it? I can't remember. Anyway, let me, let me know your thoughts on that. Whether you've got to go through with it, and we'll, we'll follow that. And you'll get another shout out when you pass your class one, mate. Uh, so, congratulations, Rochelle, on passing your class two. Um, I hope you manage to pick work up, and I hope you get through the, the sticky bit at the beginning. That's the hardest part. Just get through that bit, you'll be fine. So, well done, buddy. Top job. Now, this next guy. I also need to apologise to. And his name is Fergal McGee. Now Fergal is from Northern Ireland, I think he said. Yeah, Northern Ireland. And I, I told you I'd put you in my book. Well, the problem is... I've got more than one book. So, what, sometimes what I do, I shouldn't, I should just keep the one, shouldn't I? That would be the sensible thing to do. So I'll write names down in the book. Forget I've done that. Start a new pad like I've done here. And hence, you got missed out. So you did everything right, mate. <laughs> it's my fault, I'm really sorry. I just, I, I just didn't, I mean, uh, I'm old. Let's just put it down to I'm old, I'm sorry. Genuinely, genuinely sorry. But yeah, Fergal's from uh, Northern Ireland and he's passed his class two. Uh, now you managed to um, pick up a job. In fact, when I last spoke to you, I think I, I spoke to you whilst I was on holiday. Um, you managed to pick up a job um, delivering furniture. So that was due to start Monday, which I think was not last Monday, but the Monday before. Might have even been the Monday before that, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, so big fat apology and congratulations for passing your test, mate. Um, let us know if if you're going to stick at class two, or if you've got future plans. Let us know how the job's going. Uh, congratulations, mate. I hope you enjoyed your day. Uh, who have we got up next? Dean. Is that right? D E A double N E ninety fifty. Well, you've passed your class two, and do you know you know what you can't read your own writing? Is you, let me tell you the problem, right? Sometimes I'm laying in bed at night, and I'll go through these to, to double check them, and I'll be sat bolt up, and I'll, I'll just be scribbling because I'll be typing and whatnot. And I, I'll be scribbling and I do it shorthand and it's a bit messy if I'm to be honest but D9050 you pass your class 2 ah right that's right I remember now I had a conversation with you um, congratulations on pass your pa pass 2 
and you immediately went on to do class one but unfortunately you were unsuccessful this time but take the punches mate just yourself off get up again keep getting up keep getting up they knock you down get back up again don't think twice about it if you go in for your test with that mentality you'll be all right so I know it's hard, it hurts like hell when you fail. You know, that long drive home, it sucks. But, um, hello. But yeah, crack on mate, you'll do it. So a big congratulations for uh, Packing Class 2. Let me know when you got your retest, or don't let me know when you've got your retest, if you, because sometimes the more people know, the harder it becomes. So it's up to you, you let me know. Um, ultimately let me know when you do pass and you will pass mate I'm absolutely sure so congratulations Dean um, I'll hear from you in the future I'm pretty sure about that mate don't you worry right next up we've got Jay Fivey um, real name Josh he did put sign it off Josh at the bottom which is nice because you have your usernames but uh, yeah there we go uh, so J5E, you pass your class two. I put down here. That's right. Now I don't think you'll mind me saying this, Jay, but I'm sure you you pass your class two, then you went straight on to class one, failed your class one, but you I think while well, I was on holiday actually, I got a message from you saying, Oh, failed it, gutted, whatever, but you went on to book it the week after and you passed. So you've now got your class one. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, second time of asking, I think. She's good, good going, buddy. So, welcome to the club. Let me know if I've got that wrong, but I don't think I have. I'm almost certain of it. Um, brilliant job, mate. Absolutely cracking. Let us know how you're getting on. Where are you going with it? Have you managed to get work? All that usual. Right, uh, I think I wrote uh, Dreamcast Boy down here, aka Thomas. He just said to me, and I won't do this often, but um, I had a bit of a natter with him on YouTube, and he said, Oh, give us a shout out. So, Dreamcast Boy, Thomas. Hello, alright, mate. He hasn't passed the test, just come out and shout out. So I'll put him in the roll call anyway. Um, and also, I'd like to mention uh, Max Max. So that's M A X X X, M A X X X. Um, he left a really lovely, kind comment when I announced that I passed my test, not in the roll call, on the, that vlog I did. Uh, he left a, a lovely comment, re really thoughtful, and unfortunately, Max, I've not been able to reply to you. It won't let me. I don't, don't ask me why. I have no idea why. But, yeah, um, just to let you know, I did try to reply to you, and thanks for the kind comment. Right, now, who's up next? Two still got a ways to go you know Alex Stewart now Alex you got uh, you got uh, your uh, shout out last time but you let me know that you've managed to get a job on the tippers tipper Lorris. so there are jobs out there for newly qualified drivers I mean I this is my fifth day out in a a class one vehicle and I'm brand new qualified you know what I mean literally you can pass your test in the same day you'd be out in a truck there are companies out there well there are there, are, there always has been there are there have to have been you know my theory on it that everybody had that that day one not all have the experience can they it just doesn't work like that so um, yeah the jobs up aren't there they might not be in the mainstream you want it hard enough you dig around like Alex did and you'll get your job now I know Alex um, I said I didn't want to do tipper driving because it just doesn't appeal to me and <laughs> again I've been on YouTube and watched far too many 
and then tip over sideways which is never good you know when the loads get stuck on the bulkhead and all of a sudden it starts ever so slowly think well that's it it's gone and lo and behold next minute they're on the side so um, it's one of the reasons I just don't fancy doing it uh, good on you if you are and I know Alex that you're chuffed that you've got that job so let us know how you're getting on um, hope you're enjoying it hope it's what, what you cracked up to be mate um, Owain Williams I've pronounced you yeah Owain Owen, not Owen Owen Williams we'll call you Owen shall we it's not uh, O-W-U-E-N it's O-W-A-I-N Owen. probably an Irish name is it an Irish name? Uh, or Welsh but yeah congratulations Mr Williams you've passed your class 1 um, <coughs> and you're starting your new job on Monday now I think that was this Monday just gone um, let, so let us know how you got on uh, let us know what, what you were hauling etc what part of the country you got to and I know you had a, a certain affiliation with me because as I told you all I hated my old job in the end and it, it's hard getting up in the morning when you hate your job it really is so hats off to you mate you stuck your head above the parapet and it didn't get shot off so you've done well and I hope you enjoy your new career genuinely I, I love doing what I'm doing I, I should have done it years ago but that's hindsight isn't it so yeah congratulations on passing your class 1 buddy um, Gazar I think you left me a short note just to say you passed your class 2 um, so I don't know what circumstances, how many miners you got, how many times you did it, what your plans are. So let us know, buddy. So Gazar, congratulations on passing your class two. Good on you, buddy. Right, next one's not a. It's not a pass. Well, he did pass, but he got mentioned in the, in my last vlog, and I, I really hope he doesn't mind me mentioning this. But he's put it out there in the domain. It's in the public comments. Um, F1 Dave got a job. Now, he was concerned that he wouldn't get a job. Because a long, long while ago, Dave made a mistake. Dave had a, a little drink and he got behind a wheel and he got caught and Dave got a certain ban for that and you lost your, you lost your, your privilege to drive for a while and that stays on your record for 10 years now I know that you that 10 years is nearly over next to nearly over so it comes off your license after five years but it stays on your record for ten I think something like that so you've been really patient you, do you know what hat off to you buddy you come on my channel you put it out there you said you'd you know you'd made this mistake and um, whatever you I said look I'm not gonna judge you I don't I don't drink and drive and I never have because I'm, I'm not particularly a drinker but I know people have been caught out and quite easy, not without even thinking about it really. Um, and you held your hands up and said you made a mistake. You paid your dues. That's it, over. You've now got yourself a, jo a job, sir. Full respect to you. You've turned it round, you've turned the corner, you've put all this behind you. A lesson hard learnt, as I'm sure you know, I won't have to tell you. Um, and you've managed to get a job and it, it wasn't such a, a big deal as you thought it was going to be you know I think you thought that you had this cloud angle over you it was, it was going to stop you so you'd gone through all this training you'd passed your test yet somebody was still going to pull you back and I'm glad it's worked out for you mate genuinely genuinely mean that buddy so congratulations on getting a job mate that, um, good on you yeah best of, best regards to you um, who's up next Steve Campbell's transport passed his class two. 
and he's got a job. I can't remember what job you told me you were doing. You did tell me, didn't you? What was you doing? Steve, 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 Steve. Yeah, you were, you were in class two, and then they wanted to put you in a seven half tonner, which you're not bothered about. It was an older seven half tonner that with no restriction. I think you were quite chuffed the fact that you go a bit fast, <laughs> rather than being st stuck at 56 miles an hour. So, congratulations, Steve, mate. Good pass that, buddy. Um, who we got up next? The mechanic. The mechanic passed his theory isn't hazard perception. So the mechanic is well on the way to getting a proper roll call with a, a practical pass. Um, let us know how you, how you get on. Don't forget, we're, we're on you now. Who we got up next? Have we got everybody? Have I mentioned everybody? No, I haven't. There's one last fella that I need to give a mention. Now, I passed this test either just before I went on holiday or while I was on holiday. No, I was on holiday because I remember texting while I was on holiday. I was, I was sat on the campsite and um, I remembered he was doing his test on the, it was Tuesday, not the Tuesday gone but the Tuesday before. And I sent him a little message wishing him the best of luck for Tuesday. Um, and he sent me a message back saying, you good luck work mate, I've passed. So, Doc Proc is a true gentleman of YouTube. You're a lovely, lovely fella mate. You leave some lovely comments, there's not a nasty bone in your body. Always there supporting people. I've got kind words to say to to everybody, and, and and you like me always see see the silver lining, yeah, the the, the half full not half empty scenario. Um, so I love having you as a sub subscriber. I love your input on the channel. I always look forward to your comments. Um, and you've got to your class two now. I know you're going straight on to do your your class one. Although you have done, I know you're working as of the Monday just gone. You uh, you managed to get a class two job, which is which is great. Get straight in there, get stuck in. You'll even a month's experience before you do your class one. I make the world of difference. Like curtains and stuff like, like tailgates, doors, tachograph. I mean, I know you mentioned we, we had a little conversation yesterday about tachographs because you were in a, a Leyland DAF. That's how old a truck you're driving. Leyland DAF, not just DAF. Leyland DAF. And you were, it was on analog, and you're a bit confused, you know, with it all, because not unlike the digital that, that show you how many hours you've drove, etc. It's sort of the inflation's there, how, how much time you've had as, as a break. In fact, let me just. Change that. I've been on break for an hour, so I've just turned that on to other work, so I've captured all my breaks. So yeah, uh, you, you're struggling with the, the um, analogue tachographs, which can be a bit confusing, but uh, you'll get there mate, no, no bother. And it, you shouldn't come across too many analogue tachographs nowadays, you know what I mean, the, the trucks that did have them in are dying out fast. So. Um, yeah, so I know you're going for your class one. I don't know if you, you test on the 10th of August or if your training starts on the 10th of August. But uh, yeah, going straight into class one, and I'm sure you'll pass. Uh, no bother. So you did tell me you got something in the pipeline via your instructor or something. You didn't go into into any details. Um, so I hope that works out for you, buddy. And the very best, uh, best of luck in your future driving career. You, sir, deserve it. Big thumbs up from me, mate. And that concludes Trucker Roll Call. That took a while, didn't it? 24 minutes. <laughs> I thought, I'll do a quick roll call. I'll be able to upload it when I get home. Won't take that long because there's no editing in uh, Roll Call. You don't put music to it. You don't. 
speed things up, slow things down, nothing like that. It's just bang. So, yeah, congratulations to you all. Those that, that didn't make this roll call because they failed the test, chin up, dust yourself off, get after it, go do it, you'll do it, and you'll get yourself a big fat mention on my trucker roll call. Good on you all. Catch you later. Drive safe. Blues. Watch it, Tobias. I'm just going to put this addition onto the trucker roll call, which I didn't manage to upload yesterday, and I didn't manage to film the bit on the end. Because the gentleman, um, as I just finished the roll call, I got um, a message come through on my phone to say that um, he passed his test. And I spoke to him the day before, and I said, do you know what, you try drinking a can of Red Bull. It just puts you in the game for some reason. And, uh, yeah, so it, and Alex Stewart chipped in. He said, yeah, I did that on mine. I had a couple of cans, I think, something like that. So it turns out he did have a can of Red Bull, and it, he's passed. So thanks to Red Bull, eh? But there we go. Um, the gentleman's name is Kevin Hayes. Congratulations, Kevin. Uh, it's your third time lucky. Um, I know it means a lot to you, buddy. And uh, <laughs> I'd like to think it was down to the Red Bull. And the fact that we're, uh, it was a YouTube recommendation that you use Red Bull. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed your day. Uh, let us know what your plans are now. Whether you're going to jump to class one or uh, suck it and see on class two. So, uh, good man. That's it. Hard work's done. Go party. Catch you later.